Hey guys. Okay. So we're starting things off. Let me see here. First off, we're getting ourselves some fancy new duds since it is our last time here in Venice. And it's... Once again, we're going to the not very blue, blue color. Kind of a green on the hood. But, uh, who am I to judge? Okay, so we have two la- Hmm. That's, uh, that is a messy map. <clears throat> As I was saying, we have two layers. One is the Frari that we raced, uh, what's her name to the top of? Or rather, she had us race up there, and the other is here in the Arsenal. So let's start off here. Just peek our way inside and see what's in store. Uh oh. Well, I guess that means we'll be poking some guys. Much to my dismay. Okay, so... Let us see what's in store here. Sewer level, nothing new here. Why isn't anything ever simple? Okay, let's handle this precariously positioned goon. Adios. Hmm. Pretty nice place. Ah, so, something I've been meaning to mention. Since we're coming in on the end of the LP, I've kind of been getting the website set up for mirror stuff, you know, since Blip is rather terrible and YouTube is just okay at best. And... Something I've noticed, I've kind of trailed off in regards to covering historical buildings or what have you. But I guess part of that is that... Oh, well, so much for being stealthy. More on that in a moment. We're losing him! Come on, buddy. No. Okay. So in the past, I covered a lot of the buildings and what have you, but I kind of trailed off. Part of that was, uh, well, I don't know. Part of it was, I guess, the buildings aren't as central, like the, uh, the Duomo was very important inside of Florence. And over here, well, there just aren't too many places where it's just such a central, recognizable figure that things are heavily based around. And you can only cover so many things, I suppose. But uh, past that, I noticed that I started forgetting to put real-world uh, photographs whenever we came across real-world structures, and that's that was just me forgetting. And by the time I realized it, it had been so long that I kind of thought, well, it'd be awkward to start doing it again. But what are you going to do? Nobody's perfect. I never said otherwise. And as people pointed out the threat, I am far from perfect at this game. But, let us see here. Hmm. So I'm kind of going through this blind right here. At one, por at one part of this, you will see which part it is. I kind of goof up on some of the parkouring and you'll see a few little transition fades. I tried to be kind of stealthy at times, or just put them in at a... Uh, I guess an organic point where you wouldn't see a huge jump in progress. But, uh, unless folks are opposed to it, that's probably more or less the way I'll be approaching Brotherhood. But that is... Oh, I guess there's nothing up there. But that is a good ways in the future. First off, though, we have to wrap this game up. And I do not want these guys to knock me off. Aha! Whoa! I don't know what happened there. Ow! Alright, Mr. Archer, you're gonna get it. Just like that. And I can't shoot him. 
again. Uh, dodge. I want to do something special here. Come on, fella. Shoot me with an arrow. Huh. Now, let's see. It seems we're going to be getting steered off over to the right, over there. Let's see how we can approach this. Hmm. There's a wooden strut right there, and an another one past it? Let me see. Hmm. Nope, this is a bad spot. Okay. Running jump. Whoop. Okay, we'll go with that. I thought I saw uh, a strut past that or a rafter we were supposed to grab, but apparently not. But hey, it all worked out. No questions asked. Oop. Back down we go. And pretty straightforward so far. Nothing too tricky. Although there's a, uh... Well, I'll hold off a moment. So kill me then! At least I will have my honor, unlike the son of a pig farmer standing in front of me! should have kept an eye on his men. Trying to break into the treasury is a serious offense. We needed him to build the ships. Now I'll have to go find another shipbuilder. Next time, inform the watch when you question an intruder instead of dealing with it yourself. Asino. My god, did you see that? It unlocked a shortcut. We have a ladder now. And it's time for a good staple of these sorts of places, a chase scene. Remember the transition faves that I mentioned? Well, guess what? They're a-coming. But not yet. Now, this guy kind of gets ahead of you, and I lose sight of him. But here's the first fate here. Originally, I headed along the right side, but in spite of how it looked like you could make it over there, well, things are deceptive. But basically, uh, when I cut it out, I went the wrong way around on the ship's ribs, and... You are intended to go that way. And... Okay. Whoop, nope. I didn't want to go that way. Not able to even walk straight. Come on. No. Whoop. Oh. That could have been awkward. Okay, back where we were doing before. Nice, cool parkour. Although we've kind of lost sight of that jerk. Where did he go? Well... Uh, not down here. Oh! And now we're inside a boat. Let's see here. Hmm, wrong way. Whoop. Now, I did kind of a jump cut there, and when I came through previously, I don't know, the analog didn't agree with me. But basically, you could have, at that point, seen the guy running off the far end of the ship and followed him up oh, yeah. along here. And then I screwed up again right there. But... Whatever. He's not too much further ahead of us. He's kind of... I think he's watching us down there. Yes. Yeah, there he goes. Now, let's get the drop on this jerk. Time to stab... What? Oh! I call bullshit. 
Oh. I totally should have had that. Oh. God. So irritating. Hmm. Okay, well, we've done it several times before. Let's just scale up this away. And we'll end up at a nice vantage point to get the drop on these guys. And as usual, the drop that I mention is, uh, well... It is quite literal. But you've seen this before. Skip y'all past all that nonsense. Whoa. Kinda instantaneously sheathed my weapon. And that awkward silence means that that is the end of this tomb here. Pop on inside here. And we have loot. And some water. And part of me leaving this in is just in case there's some of the uh, set pieces of loot that stand out in particular. I know the next one is a few little items that stand out from the norm, but these mostly just look like old vases and such, and maybe some uh, scrawlings that are framed. Okay, and that is one down, one to go. Don't mind me, boys. Now, we've got to head to our next layer. But let's take the, uh, well, let's take a fancier way. Let's go by boat. We are over here and, oh, well, Looks like boat isn't possible. Oh well. So not much interesting happened in route. Uh. Yeah, pretty mundane overall. But here we are. Oh, and you remember what I mentioned in the past about, um all the database entries getting reset and all of them toggled as unread? Well, it happened again for some reason, and I have no idea why. I don't remember updating my system, but it seems to hose that whenever it happens, so as opposed to just popping up text, it brings up the whole darn picture again. Ugh. Alright, let's get this going. Now this is interesting. This last one is just a bit of a good old Prince of Persia-esque parkour. And uh, there's a hay bale down there, but I don't trust it. No. It's a Templar layer though, so let's just uh, desecrate a few paintings. Desecrate. And... Uh, oh. Seems we have to come down this far. Mark that hay bale. It's mine now. Now, I really like this layer. 
for, well, obvious reasons, as we'll see here in a moment. And I really like the job they did here with, uh, well, they really did this justice. It looks pretty nice. Oh, and on the, uh, something I forgot to mention here, I changed back to the uh, regular Assassin White for this place. There was a big gap in recordings between the previous layer and this one, and I decided just to change over to this for the heck of it. Hmm. Now, as nice as this place looks, there are a, uh, a few of these paintings, but you'll see that uh, paintings and sculptures and all that, they're kind of copy-paste past a point, but, you know, what, what can you expect? I mean, this was way, way, way back when, and who knows what the heck sorts of paintings or structures they had inside of them at the time. Although, from the look of things, there must be renovation going on. Of course, judging by most of this game, there's always renovation going on somewhere. We've always got some rafters or something suspending from a rope. I mean, it's pretty sloppy. Mm-hmm. Copy-paste. And nice view. But yeah, they start copy-pasting those uh, three statues with that gold outlining. And then there was that painting of the Pope that we saw a few times. Or a Pope, rather. It's a guy with the silly hat. Okay, so the camera that showed us the way to go started down here. And we've got our buddies, the birds. So let's see. Ooh, we're going to be up there. So... First things first. Okay, good. I wasn't sure at first if I could actually make that jump. And in all honesty, when I uh, first came to this place, I was not paying much attention to where the camera started. So, as I was wandering around, I noticed that the central piece actually had a ladder on one side that we could reach. So I figured that was probably where we started, or needed to start. But that's usually my problem in these places. As soon as you walk in, the camera says, Hey, buddy, over here, let me show you what to do. And I'm usually not ready. Maybe I'm not alone in that sentiment. And I apologize for the, uh, lack of talking at times. It's a combination of lack of things to say and the, uh, the, old, uh, the old voice having some issues recently. And this is not the way I want to go. Yeah, nothing to grab here. And I actually vaulted over that this wooden strut here thinking it was a pole or something. So let's head back. Ah, chandelier. There's no way we should be able to walk out on that board the way we did right there. It wasn't hammered down to anything. Hmm. Oh, well. No questions asked. Bene. Now I have a way back up in case I fall. Bene. Okay, our first checkpoint of several. Hmm. Now this is a deceptive jump. There are a few places here like this I was not sure if I could make it. And you know, I'm going to go ahead and spoil things and say that I made this without any goof-ups. So you know what? I'm pretty proud of myself. Now let me get centered.
And we're working our way to that far side there. And from the, what the camera showed at that far end, there is some sort of little recess we're aiming for. So it's by the fact that we're super, super high right now, our main goal is just to get to the far side, not necessarily get to the highest point in the church. Let's angle that a little better. Who keeps letting these birds into this place? Got all these nice paintings. You don't want to get any bird poop on it. I mean, come on, folks. What? No bene? Oh, whatever. And this right here, we're kind of nearing the end. It's nothing too intriguing. It kind of does the same thing of climb up and wall rebound. Then shimmy around, pull yourself up, and hop on over to the next one. Okay. Whoop. It's kind of squirrely. But yeah, sorry for the lack of things to talk about, folks. Just kind of saving up for the history segment stuff. But after this, we will see how things go and breaking down the schedule on stuff. I'm thinking a separate episode for each DLC, and we'll see if I need one or two more updates to wrap up the final bit. And it's hay time. And we're done. And this place has uh, some rather Egyptian stuff. We've got a pharaoh bust and a... Uh, hmm... Anubis. And more papyrus, but that's just kind of copy-paste stuff. Well, these guys are jerks, so let's rob them. You totally did not take all of that. And we really don't have any use for money at all right now. Well, we do have the final sword, Al sword. But that is something I'm going to save for a little bit in the future when we go back to our assassin robes. Or our, our fancy assassin robes with Al's armor. Yeah, nothing on them. Oh well. It was fun. What is that guy doing? I don't like the way you look, mister. Hey, don't hurt me! Well, that's enough for now, guys. I'll see y'all next time.